Torah Life Ministries come out of the world. Messiah people seek the truth. And we have to be careful here because we have to follow the scriptures, what it says. You know, so we can't go in and, and just take things that were already part of the curses to begin with. So there's so much we could look at in this week's Torah. And, and we can go on here and look at chapter 8 in this week of Deuteronomy. And chapter, chapter 8 says it again, and it's repetitive over and over again in this week's Torah portion. It says in chapter 8, it says, Be careful not to forget. And this is Moses again telling uh, the people that were about to cross the Jordan what to remember. And he goes, Be careful not to forget uh, your Elohim, uh, your Creator. And he says, by not obeying his commands, rules, and regulations that he's given you today. So that's how we remember him, by keeping those commands, regulations, and rulings. You know, and he said, be careful not to forget them. And we look at Hosea 4, 6, and it says, My people destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because you have forgotten the commands of my Creator, or rejected them, not only will you suffer, but your seed will also suffer. Look, people, you can only reject something that was given to you, and you can only forget something you once knew. And, and this is what Moses is warning the people not to do. And this goes on again to say in Deuteronomy 8, 19, If you forget Yahweh your Creator, follow other gods and serve and worship them, I am warning you in advance today that you will certainly perish. You will perish just like the nations that Yahweh has caused to perish ahead of you, because you, will not, because you have not heeded to the voice of Yahweh your Elohim. The warning is there all throughout scriptures. And... Our passion should be more than anything uh, to, to make sure that our life is lining up with His Word. And, and I tell you, that is a true way that brings true blessings. It goes on to say in the scripture in the ninth chapter, it says, you know, don't go in there and take everything from the land. In, in, in Deuteronomy 9, 7, uh, it says, actually in 9, 4 of Deuteronomy, it says, you know, don't think that you're getting the land because you're any better than the people there. It says Yahweh is all equal. And that's what it says. We'll read later in this week's Torah portion. It says, you know, wherever you come from, if you're following the words and your passion and your heart is to follow the words, if your heart has been circumcised, uh, so much so to follow the words of Yahweh your Creator, He will bless all of you no matter who you are, no matter where you are. And we look at it, it says here, you know, but the people were stiff-necked. And so Moses had to warn them over and over again. And the people at this time were probably like, all right, enough already. Let us just go in the land already. But Moses said, I'm warning you, I'm warning you. It reminds me of a, a child with their parents when their parents tell them over and over again. And they say, all right, enough already. I hear you, I understand. But, but they, their actions don't follow. And this is what happened. And just Moses, he like knew. And, and he, he, was, he was so sorrowed because of it. You know? and, and Moses was you know, a great example of how we have to be. I mean, Moses went up to the mountain and, and for 40 days and 40 nights he didn't eat any food or drink any water. He was so focused on what Yahweh had to say and in helping the people. Uh, and, but Yahweh provided and took care of his needs, and Yahweh took care of his, his physical needs, needs, his health. You know, and, and it was amazing what happened. And that's the heart we need, and Moses was a great example. But again, the stiff-necked people, it all says it, it might say it five or six times in this week's Torah portion, where it says, uh, you are stiff-necked people, and this is why you will be led astray, and this is why you wandered around uh, what, a 40-day trip took you 40 years in the desert? Uh, because you're a stiff-necked people. This is why none of the people, you know, other than Caleb and Joshua, you know, will go into the Promised Land who came out of Egypt, because they were stiff-necked. It goes on to say here in the 10th chapter of this week's reading, it says, in, in chapter Deuteronomy 10, 12, it says, uh, All that Yahweh asks from you uh, to fear Him, follow His ways, love Him, and serve Him. That's it. Fear Him, follow Him, love Him, and serve Him. These simple things. And if your passion and your heart is in the right direction, that's what you will do. Uh, but that's what we're told to do. And then it goes on to say in the 11th chapter, uh, if you could do those things, that Yahweh will always be with you if you obey His, his rulings, commissions, and regulations. Uh, so keep the Torah of your Elohim, of Yahweh, and Yeshua was the living Torah because he taught the same thing to keep it. And he showed it in the flesh how to make that happen. He came to take away our sinful nature, uh, our thinking of the world. He came to help us circumcise our hearts. So Yahweh's word becomes part of our DNA. Just like 
Jeremiah said, this new covenant is written on your heart. That wasn't a way to do away with the old covenant. That wasn't a way to do away with, with the old instruction. That was saying these instructions are so important that they shouldn't be just on paper. They should be within your heart. And, and, and that's what we have to understand. Finally, we look at it says here in the 11th chapter, 1122, For if you will take care and obey these commands, I am giving you and follow the ways and cling to him, uh, then you will be blessed. And, you, and Yahweh will give you everything you need. It says it right there, people. So, everybody, uh, that's this week's Torah Porsche. And uh, read it every week. Check it out. And if you have any comments or questions, just post them below the video. And uh, we'll see you next week. Until then, have a great Shabbat, this coming Shabbat. Uh, we are going to be actually in Tennessee at the Messianic Israel Con a conference in Knoxville, Tennessee area. We're going to have a great time there. If you're in that area, come down and check us out. Until then, everybody, have a great Shabbat, and Yahweh bless you all. Come out of the world, oh my people, seek the truth, avoid the evil, learn Yahweh's way.